Hey everybody, so today on Just a Tip, we're gonna keep talking about transfer of energy. A lot of these cheats that people put into conventional exercises, which in the end means that it completely defeats the purpose of doing the exercise. So a couple weeks ago, we talked about box stepping, a lot of these single leg exercises that are done in a way that completely eliminates the purpose. So although I have this foot on top of this bench. I don't want you to think about this at all. The reason being, we're talking about problems, right? Where does the problem reside? In the leg that's at an advantage. The leg that's going to distribute tension and that's going to explode off of the floor to set me into finish position. And then I come down with a thunk at the rate of gravity. That's a huge issue. So if we're doing box stepping, and it could be, you know, five reps on one leg, it could be, alternating right let's not generate a bunch of energy through that leg that's not supposed to be doing anything and just catapult ourselves into finished position right so with that said you can keep yourself honest with a real easy method come over to something that's stationary grab on with your fingertips what you're gonna do so you're gonna keep your hips square with that machine. You're gonna keep your chest square with that machine. You're gonna put your chin down to your collarbone. Why? Because this is a lower body exercise, fuckhead. You don't need to be looking up. You don't need to be hyper extending your back. Just find that neutral, stable spine. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna let that hip hook around your knee. Now that we're down here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna double check our alignment. So what we wanna see is the center line of the ankle is just outside the center line of the hip. Here's the center line of my hip. Center line of the knee is gonna be just outside the center line of that ankle. So when I come up, I've really set myself up where there's no ratcheting or twisting happening. Now let's focus on where this is gonna keep us honest on that negative, right? I can't come down with a thunk onto a concrete floor on my knee. That would suck. So that's where this leg that will never do anything stays back. So this comes back and I have to labor my thigh on that working foot, that working leg, so that way this is as soft of a descent as possible. And if I want, I can control my descent a little bit here, but the objective is to make sure that the leg is working. Now that we're down here, I don't want to kick myself into finished position. I don't want to wind up with my face and catapult, heave my body in finished position. What I want to do is this. I'm going to take my toe off the floor, and as I engage, I want to get my shoulders out of the way of my hip because that's where it's going to be. And you can alternate with these two guys, right? So come down here, pick it up, alternate, come down here, we alternate, come down here. Alternate. All right. What am I looking at? I'm looking down. I'm looking for alignment. I'm looking to make sure that my foot isn't landing in the center of my hip. I'm looking to make sure that my knee doesn't cave on the inside of my ankle. I'm making sure that I'm not watching my hips ratchet or twist in respect to that machine. That's just the tip.